An East Bay leader is now calling for a widespread investigation into all unlicensed spas in Contra Costa County following an apparent deadly Legionnaires outbreak. Plus, that notorious otter taking over surfboards in Santa Cruz has a new distinction. Let's get you synced in. Hi, I'm Andrea Sistio with some of our top stories today. Richmond's Zen Day Spa on San Pablo Avenue is shut down as health leaders wait for test results following an apparent Legionnaires outbreak. A hot tub there is being tied to two recent deaths of people infected with Legionnaires disease. Investigators say both victims had recently used the jacuzzi and a third person became infected but later recovered. County Supervisor John Joya says that the spa operated its jacuzzi without a county health permit and was never inspected. We're going to devise a strategy to look at how to investigate uh, these types of massage parlors and spas that are out there that may not have a county health permit because there's no way to know unless you actually go into the facility and inspect it. Health experts say Legionnaires is rarely transmitted person to person. It's more commonly passed when the bacterium is aerated in water, which people can then inhale. Well, that notorious otter taking over surfboards in Santa Cruz is now the face of a new ice cream flavor. Marianne's ice cream has created a new otter 841 flavor with cinnamon, caramel ice cream, and snickerdoodle chunks. Sounds amazing. 841 is how researchers referred to the otter when it was first tagged. The ice cream shop says the flavor is just like the famous otter, cute and sweet, but with a bit of a bite. All right, let's go ahead and turn to meteorologist Carrie Hall now with our seven day forecast. Whether it's the last few days of summer or you are back to school this week, we have a lot of changes ahead in terms of our weather. So it's a hot start with temperatures inland reaching into the mid 90s. And then we have some relief coming our way, a stronger ocean breeze, more fog near the coast, and that's going to help cool us off all across the Bay Area. Take a look at our inland temperatures only reaching into the low 80s on Tuesday and the rest of the week will be just like that, feeling very nice, but it does warm up slightly as we head into the weekend and for San Francisco back comes the fog, the mist and drizzle and temperatures in the low 60s for highs. We'll see more 60s throughout the week as we start out with some low clouds and then see some afternoon sunshine. You can always get the latest forecast right here on social media as well as NBCBayArea.com. Thanks so much, Carrie, and thank you for joining us today on Sinkton. See you tomorrow.